Tennessee Sports proudly presents a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the vacant uh, European Light Welterweight Championship. Between and introducing the boxers, and firstly, finding out of the red corner, he wears the red trunks trimmed with white, and comes from uh, Saragossa in Italy, and the Rosanna Conti Cavini stable. He weighed in at 9 stone, 13 pounds and 1 ounce, and holds a 24 fight professional record. 21 wins, 10 wins coming by way of knockout with 3 losses. He comes to the ring tonight, the current uh, light welterweight champion of Italy. Please welcome uh, Salvatore Battaglia. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the multicolored trunks, fighting out of Bradford. He weighed nine stone, 13 and a half pounds, and holds a 31 fight professional record. 28 wins, 17 wins coming by way of the big KO, with one loss and two draws. Uh, he comes to the ring tonight as the current British and Commonwealth light welterweight champion, the former undefeated European Union light welterweight champion, and the former undefeated WBF light welterweight champion, presenting Bradford's junior, the Hitter Witter. The referee in charge of the action, Mr. Daniel from uh, um, Belgium, will now give his instructions to both boxers. I spoke to both of you in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Give the best you can. Shake hands. Twelve three-minute rounds for the vacant European Light Waterway Championship. And the first round. And the man coming out of the red corner from uh, Syracuse in Italy, the 30-year-old Salvatore Battaglia. Lost some uh, 16 months ago in a split decision in Germany to Octe Urkalp. He's taller than his opponent, the current British and Commonwealth light welterweight champion, Junior Witter. And he's one of those nasty southpaws. Both of them 30 years of age. Witter, much more experience having been a, a world title challenger. And this is his 14th contest since he lost in uh, perhaps ill-advised challenge to uh, one of the greats of the modern era, Zab Judah. A defining moment this for Junior Witter and Duke McKenzie. It's a contest he cannot afford to lose. Well, not only can he not afford to lose it, but with that defeat would also go his world ranking. That will go right out the window as well. But, you know, Witter for me has been waiting for a world championship fight for a little bit too long now. Well, he's been chasing uh, a man who used to be his, his former stablemate, Ricky Hatton. I don't see that contest happening unless uh, Hatton should lose in the near future and circumstances force a meeting between the two. And that's a contest that all of Britain would certainly love to see. But Witter has to concentrate now, having uh, talked a pretty good game. He's got to concentrate and he's got to win this vacant European title because that would increase his status. Oh, wonderful uppercut from Witter. What a great shot that was. And Battaglia took that flush, and that speaks volumes about the Italian's chin. But there's a look of anxiety on the face of Battaglia. What a terrific uppercut that was by the unorthodox Junior Witter. Not even midway through the first round, and signs that Witter is living up to his nickname of Witter the Hitter. You know, which is a, a switch hitter, and that's just the kind of guy you don't want to fight. Somebody as cute as him, who just doesn't know what punch he's going to throw and can unload with a, a nice sweet shot like that at any given point. He's so unorthodox, he's wet. He's got him again, round the corner right. Referee steps in, gives him the eight count. What a good opening round by Witter. Threatened to put him down with an uppercut. Tagged him again with a round the corner right hand. A minute still to go. Can Witter produce a major sensation here? Almost got him again with the right hand. Witter back to orthodox. He had switched to southpaw just to match what Battaglia was doing. And the anxiety is picked out in stark relief now in the face of Salvatore Battaglia. Witter again goes southpaw. And Battaglia is in a bit of trouble. Wonderful left hand. This is acting from which I say this has got a world class performer in front of him. And he's just dismantling him at will. He really is which is going to really make a statement if he can nail this guy in the first round to the rest of the world well, weights in the world. That includes Ricky Hatton, but he's ready for his shot. Well, the judges from Luxembourg, Spain and France might not be needed. There's a bit of a nick underneath the right eye of Salvatore Battaglia. 
who's looking very, very wobbly indeed, and Witter threatened to uh, get rid of him in the first round. What an opening three minutes by Junior Witter. He confuses everybody who's ever looked at uh, boxing in terms of the way he approaches some things and the way he stands in the ring. But Brendan Ingle and Dominic Ingle and John Ingle, the Ingle family, will be hugely pleased. There was that chopping right hand. Now, he was off balance, to be fair. He was off balance, but that certainly justified the eighth count. And Witter coming forward, and look at Battaglia. Witter getting him in again, again that right hand. And he was on his way back, and he got absolutely whacked, and down he went. What a terrific opening round that was for this man. The wrist. The wrist inflicted his face, then you hit him with your knees. The beautiful right uppercut. Do you understand? You left two, but then spin out off him. Wow, what an opening three minutes from uh, Junior Witter. Well, that's part of the importance of fighting at home. You now, if this fight had been in Italy, they'd have called that a slip. Well, I think you may be doing them a slight disservice. I think that was there for everybody to see, and I think the uh, officials appointed by the EBU would have uh, recognised that. Witter now, interestingly, has got the hands held up a, a lot higher than he did in the first round. Sometimes gets himself into a situation where he's a wee bit off balance. And he's back to Southpaw again to try to counter the uh, style of the Italian, Salvatore Battaglia. He's been a pro for just about eight years. See, Witter's already found a way to take away the height deficit, which is obviously against him. He's just holding his hands very, very loose. He's really soft. Oh, great right hand. Fantastic shot. Surely it's going to be stopped. The first shot, Witter was actually off balance. He was moving away from Battaglia when he landed with that right hand. But the second shot was an absolute gem. And Battaglia is in serious bother here. And Witter is going to win this European title, surely. Looking for the big finish now. Battaglia, that was a slip. Was it? Well, I thought that was a slip. I didn't see the shot landing. Battaglia landed in the seat of his pants, and Witter has won it in spectacular style. With just about a minute gone in the second round, unbelievable. Great, per great performance. Brendan Engel is leaning over and shouting down at us. Where is Ricky Hatton? I'm afraid, dear Brendan, I cannot answer that. But uh, we know where Junior Witter is, and that's right at the top of Europe at the moment. He's the British champion, he's the Commonwealth champion, and he's now the European champion. What a spectacular finish in just the second round. And from the moment he landed with the right uppercut in the first round, you felt the winner was going to win this well inside the distance, and that's how it turned out. Well, look at Witter, unorthodox as ever. Wonderful slicing right hand, and he was moving backward when he threw that shot. Battaglia tried to kid on that it was a slip, it certainly wasn't. Second one coming up, look at the look on Battaglia's face, really looking anxious. Round the corner, caught him on the temple. Away he went, had to hold on for all he was worth. Battaglia doing his very best to come back. Well, I was right, I think, because that just grazed him and no more. There wasn't any contact, but down he went and the referee stopped it. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 18 seconds of round two, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner by TKO and the new Black Holloway champion of Europe, Julia the Hitter Winter. Junior, you've been waiting for the chance to showcase what you've got. Tonight it came. Definitely, I mean, he's a good, durable opponent. Went 12 rounds with Urkel, the former champion. You know I mean? Give him all the trouble he needed. Got a split decision in Germany. And I just did him in two rounds. You know I mean? Was the plan to jump on him early? The plan was just to see how it goes. Um, I went out and as soon as the power started landing, I realised I could land it. And he was hurting him, so just went with it. Every time you step into the ring, the name of Ricky Hatton is mentioned. What's your message? Bring it. You say you're not happy with Frank, step up. BBC will do it, I know I'll do it, my team behind me will do it, Ennis will put it on, and I'll, I'll destroy you. But that will be a very different proposition. Oh yeah, but everyone's tough, you know what I mean? He's a well, world-ranked opponent. I mean, he's, he's known throughout the world, 
Ricky's beat up a lot of domestic fighters throughout the world. He's picked domestic fighters from all over a different scene and he's beat them up. He hasn't beat a true world-class opponent for me, an active, physical uh, person who's on the game. I've done that, yeah, and I'll do it again. And I will just move on. I've got the European, British Commonwealth and European. I think there's about eight people in history have ever done it and had them all at the same time. And that's me, and I'm one of them. You know what I mean? That's how good I am. The whole, the hard, the whole way, the hard way, you just need the opportunity to fight. I mean, showcase my style. As long as I get it, I'll produce the goods. You've become known as somebody who's been avoided by the big names. I mean, from your position and where you stand, how much of a chance is there of the Hatton fight happening? Well, there's every chance if he wants to leave Frank, or if Frank wants to put it on. I mean, we've I signed a deal and I know I can get that fight whenever I want it, you know what I mean? There's no, con there's no contracts what stops me from having that fight, there's only him. There's only him stopping that fight happening. I know that when I get in the ring, whoever's in front of me, I will destroy. Forcing me on the spin, I ain't going past five. Are you happy to go to Manchester for the fight? I've got a team book too, I don't care. I box in Manchester, you know what I mean? I don't care where it is, if it's America, if it's Canada, if it's the North Pole, I'll do it and I'll come out victorious.